the triangle of triumph. The triangle of triumph is essentially a three-step cycle in how we are, you know, getting prospects, getting appointments. These are kind of, uh, it's another way of, of the three steps to success. And so when we think about our, our daily five, uh, these are the key components to our daily five. They're the drops, the calls, and the emails. And so the three-step cycle, it doesn't really matter which area you start with. What, what we understand is that it usually takes, you know, about nine to 12 touches in order to finally get an enrollment. So you can start the cycle at any point, uh, but the key is to just start rotating. Start rotating your touches from drops to calls to emails, and then you just kind of keep you know, rotating in that uh, rinse and repeat circle um, in order to finally get to the people that you're, you're trying to reach. Remember, the key to closing is repetition, and repetition and persistence uh, is what it takes in order to close. And so I like to start by dropping. Uh, I like to start the cycle by dropping. And so I like to think if it was somebody's very first day, they didn't have anything, you know, their very first week, we're, we're going to spend five days going out dropping. And let's just say we used the daily five approach and we only, we only dropped in on five people a day. That would give you five qualified leads to start your Monday call day with. And so what are we doing and why do I like starting with the drops? Well, I think you get more information. I think you build more rapport. Your eye, it passes the eyeball test, not only for you, but for them as well. They see that you're a real human, uh, that you're not just a voice automated robot, and you're somebody that they would like to work with. And so when you go in on the drops, you know, look, you're, 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 there's a lot of ways to find success, not just setting the appointment. And so you get contact names, uh, you find out whether or not they have major medical, whether or not they have or understand what voluntary benefits. Maybe you find out that they have multiple locations, how many employees they have, or you know what days of the week uh, the people that you're trying to reach uh, are going to be in. And, and you're more, more likely to get kind of that information, you know, like, well, you need, you need to speak to the HR director, you need to speak to the finance person, or it's the owner that handles that. And maybe they'll give you more information about uh, the decision-making process. And so that, that's where we begin with drops, and, and that's why I like to start there. And then I would take those leads, and again, remember in the Daily Five, you can, you can always see more than five people. So let's just say you, you saw, because it's your first week, 10 people. Well, 10 people times five is 50. So now on my Monday call day, I actually have 50 qualified leads to call. And so that makes for a great call day. And so in our triangle of, of triumph, uh, the first aspect is dropping. We get leads by dropping. The second one is by calling, by making phone calls. Where do, where, how do we make phone calls? Again, Mondays matters. That's kind of our key day that we knock out you know, 150 calls. Uh, we also have our daily five. We're, we're doing on a daily basis. Uh, we get you know lists from Reference USA, Dun & Bradspeed from our from our drops, warm leads, referrals, um, you know different kinds of networking groups we belong to. Doesn't matter. Just as long as you understand that making telephone calls is is an essential part uh, of the cycle and setting up your appointments and getting to your 9 to 12 touches. It's usually the primary way that you do follow-ups, although I also use uh, the triangle to do my follow-ups by dropping, calling, and emailing as well. And so the, the final aspect to this is email. And I know a lot of old school sales guys don't use a lot of email and they say, you know, it's never worked, it'll never work, and I don't use it, it doesn't work. Well, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It, it doesn't work because they don't use it. It doesn't work because people don't use it the right way. It doesn't work because people don't have a, a, a strategic way about you know, daily activity of emailing. And what do you email? Are you just e doing blanket email blasts or just mailing, emailing out boring information? And so you have to email the right way. But if you use emails as part of your, your triangle, you'll see how it really complements. A lot of times on Mondays, I'll, I'll call up and, the, and they'll ask, are they expecting your call? And I'll say, well, yeah, I emailed him on Thursday. 
And so my, my follow-up call is to an email, but they were both cold calls. Do you, you see how that works? Or we're communicating and I can use the email during as communication. So I, I want to be out. I want to be, you know, have my feet on the ground on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, doing DMs, making sales calls, making drops. And so, you know, how do I follow up? Well, a great way to do that is to end the, the day or the evening at night when I'm not, you know, doing anything in my downtime and I can send out my strategic emails. Make sure that those emails are strategic. Make sure that they're personal. You, you want to make them short, uh, short and sweet. You're selling the sizzle, not the steak. Because again, we're just trying to get in front of people or get them to that final uh, decision-making process. And so in the Triangle of Triumph, three simple step cycles, drops, calls, and emails.